are going to start out a process that might lead to them um, actually acquiring some documentation or title to the land. It's just uh, amazing for them, and I think they are just expressing that happiness. Considering that they made tens of millions of dollars uh, from logging in this area, and you can look around you and see uh, the destitution, uh, the type of poverty that people live in this area. You would never imagine that millions of dollars have been generated from timber revenue uh, from this area, and none of that money has been reinvested into their communities. Breaking up into groups, the women will do a special map for the, the the community. The elders will do one map, and then we bring all of that together uh, in the group. In the past, successive governments will give out logging concessions without as much as any prior information to the communities. They will wake up in the morning and see loggers roll into the villages with bulldozers and chainsaws and simply stop by the chief and say, hey, we're here because we got a concession from the state. What we are now pushing for is making sure that decisions about forests actually start with the communities themselves. And sometimes one of the reasons why we can tell the central government, say, you got to get the people authority over the forest, is because they're closer to the forest. So if anybody doing something that are not correct, they easy, you know, to be able to put stuff to it. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Because it kind of tell us say that what we're trying to do, people really appreciate it. And I will wake up tomorrow morning smiling with a smile in my face because I know. Every day now when I get up, I'm doing something that people really consider to be important in their lives.